Hey guys, it's Kevin from 29 Inches, and today I want to give you a little unboxing and quick review of the Moto 360 Tilt uh, silicone watch band that I got for my Moto 360. Um, it's right here, so let's get into it. All right, so here's the packaging right here. Um, it's just the Tilt um, athletic silicone band for the Moto 360 second generation, as you can see right here, for the men's 42 millimeter. So let me cut into it and see what it's all about. Uh, I got this on the Motorola website for 30 something dollars before shipping. Um, it wasn't too expensive, I don't quite remember how much I paid for it actually. But let's see, I'm about to crack this baby open. There we go. Now then, there we go. Then we can slide it out All right like that. There we go, boom, and here it is. really okay okay this is cool so yeah one of the things they used to talk about is the the collapsible part uh, the clipsable yeah the clipsable part um, it's really interesting I want to see how that works because um, currently there are two little straps um, two little like catch straps so that the band doesn't just flop all over the place like that but um, yeah let me go ahead and take the Watch off my wrist so I can switch it out. Okay then guys, so here's one thing I wanted to point out for you. Like if you look here, the length of the, the new straps of the tilt silicone straps is actually much longer. Like it has a whole extra clasp over here, like that extra length, and then pretty much half a clasp down here. So it's gonna be pretty long and I'm interested to see how it looks on my wrist. So let me just put it on real quick. Okay, so here it is, and then I'm, it's so long that I actually have to use the smallest little notch right here because I have tiny wrists, like tiny, tiny wrists. And so I am going to loop this back around and clip it in like that. Okay, that's pretty simple. Um, and it's an interesting way of holding it down because you see this leather watch band, um, the one that comes stock on the watch is actually, it has two of these, one right here and one right here. Um, but then this one right here, instead of having um, any of those, you just um, have this guy right here, the the little claps, the little clipsable thing, so that it has a little notch right there, and then you just plug it right into the hole, and it's in. So yeah, all you have to do is like get this little button thing, stick it into the little hole, and it just holds it there. So that's an interesting way of doing it, I think. Um, it's very interesting. Um, the only issue I have with it is that there's two metal like clips right here and right here which I don't think is exactly the most visually appealing thing. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot for a few days and let you know what I think. Here's just one more shot of the watch on my wrist. Um, I just wanted to get, let you guys see what it looked like really. And that is pretty much that. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Here it is on my wrist. Um, you know, it is a pretty decent watch band. It's very well crafted. The material feels awesome. I can tell that um, the craftsmanship is really good. The material is great. Um, the durability is awesome, so I know it'll last me a while. Um, it's probably going to last me longer than the standard um, leather watch band, to be honest. My only issue with it right now is that it doesn't look as good as I'd like it to. I think that they could have done a much better job if they had shortened up the wristband a little bit, so like it would, wouldn't would like have so much extra length. And that's pretty much it. So if you liked this video, if it helped you at all, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see them, please also leave that in the comments below. And if you have any questions in general um, about the Moto360, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments below. Oh, and if you like this video, um, if this video helped you at all, please do subscribe so you can catch my review of the Moto360 second generation when it comes out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.